Hey guys, I'm here today to do a book tag, and it's the Winter Wonderland book tag. I'm super excited because I haven't done a book tag in forever because a lot of them have just been like too many questions and just like things I can't think of a good answer to. And I saw this book tag and it is actually like a few years old, but um, Reagan from Peru's Project just did it a few weeks or so ago. And so I thought I would do it too because it's just six questions and it's like nice and simple and I'm really into Christmas and winter so I thought I'd do this book tag. So question one is, what book is so happy and sweet that it warms your heart? I have to go with Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. This is one of the cutest, sweetest books I've ever read. I've read it twice and I always want to read it. Like every month I could probably read this book and I have to tell myself no and read new books. But it's just so cute and sweet and like a good, I think, coming of age story. I think everyone turning like 18, going to college or so should read this book. And I think it would make them like feel good about themselves. It's just such a good contemporary. It was one of the best ones out there, I have to say. It's amazing. Two is, what is your favorite book with a white cover? So I went through all my books and I'd have to say A Darker Shade of Magic is my favorite book I have that has a white cover because this is such an amazing book. I've read this book twice and it's just amazing. I love the story. I love these worlds. I wasn't really a fan of the second book in the series, but I'm still looking forward to the third book in the series and I'm sure it will be just as beautiful as this cover. Three is you're sitting in a nice comfy chair wearing a onesie with a lovely warm hot chocolate, but what monster read are you reading? And all I could think of was like being cozy and like you know chilling at home reading like Harry Potter so I'm gonna show you the fifth Harry Potter I know I should think of something like more unique than Harry Potter because Harry Potter is like everyone's favorite book but it's just so good this fifth book is one of my favorites and it's like probably you know one of the biggest books I ever read when I was younger it's so big and like it's such a long book and being a kid it just seemed like so much but like I just loved Harry Potter so much that it's one of those stories I can always cozy up with and read. Four is it started snowing so you decided to have a snowball fight. What fictional character would you love to have the snowball fight with? So I thought about this and I'm gonna have to go with like Peeves from the Harry Potter series, the ghost Peeves because I think he would actually be like super fun to have a snowball fight with because he would like cheat and he would like turn invisible and then throw stuff at you and you would just be like so mad and you'd want to win and you'd just keep throwing snowballs and he would just laugh at you and just like pelt you with snowballs and I think it would be so fun to have like a group of friends just all try to like take down peeves but he would win anyway and it, I, just, I don't know I just like can imagine being 11 like doing that and then going inside and like drinking hot cocoa and I think it would just be so fun and why did I not go to Hogwarts? I'm really sad. And sadly, your fire is beginning to go out, so what book would you tear the last few chapters out to throw into the fire? This was so easy. I read this and I just thought of Allegiant by Veronica Roth. This is the last book in the Divergent series, and if you've read this, you know why. Like, this would just go in the fire, because this book brought that whole series down for me. I loved the Divergent series when I read it like back in the day and then I read this one and now I can't stand this series but I still cannot part with them. I've done so many book unhauls and I still can't unhaul this series and I just need to because I don't think I'll ever reread it because this book brought it all down for me. And finally number six is what book is so close to your heart that you would gift to someone this Christmas who hasn't read before but wants to get into reading? So my first thoughts were Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell or Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling and I'm like no I can't say those because I've already mentioned it so I'm gonna mention another series that I know everyone probably has read and everyone loves but Still, it is the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan. I think this is such a staple read to get into reading. It is just such a fantastic book. I didn't even read this till I was like 22, but I loved it. So I wish I'd read this when I was like 13 when it came out or whatnot, because I know I would have just flew through this series and loved it and it would have like super wanted me to read. like. It would have made me want to read even more. I just know it. It's one of those fantastic series. 
just like Harry Potter and such. So I think this is a great book. You could buy like the box set for your kids to get into reading. And these editions are just really pretty. This newer edition than the old ones. So that's what made me want to get them because I thought they were beautiful. And then I read the story and I was so into it. Here guys, that was the Winter Wonderland book tag. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.